Hello, welcome to Healthy You. I'm your host, Erica Rivers. I am delighted to welcome Max Bortoletto. Max has a degree in international cuisine and has cooked in restaurants around the world. His philosophy for great foods is to use simple and fresh ingredients to enhance the flavor in his dishes. In addition to his amazing culinary skills, he also has a black belt in karate, a brown belt in upkeeto, swims, bikes, and plays tennis, just to name a few of the many ways he keeps fit. I have a feeling he's going to have a lot of great tips for us today. Please join me in welcoming Chef Max. Hi, Chef Max. Buongiorno, Erica. Oh, buongiorno. Happy to see you again. Oh, so good to see and you. And buongiorno, America. Now, what does buongiorno mean? Buongiorno means good morning. All right, well, buongiorno to you too. Thank you. Okay, so you're from Italy, you're a chef, and you're going to make a great pasta dish for us today. How did you get interested in cooking? Like every Italian, we, we used to cook at least three meals per day. Mm -hmm. So when I was little, I used to watch my mom and my grandma cooking. And I quickly realized how much I enjoy cooking for myself and for friends. So at the age of 14 is when I enrolled in a culinary art in Italy. Okay, and what was the name of the school? Ab Pietro Abano Derme. Okay, and so I see you have a lovely jacket with your name on it and something in Italian. Well, the first line is my last name, Bortoletto, okay. and then professore means teacher. In okay. fact, this is the same uniform they used to wear when I was teaching culinary art in school 25 years ago, probably. And after eating all this Italian food, it still fits perfectly. I try to keep myself in shape. Okay, well you do a great job of that and we're going to talk about that later, but for right now you've cooked all over the world. You've cooked in London, uh, and I love London, I used to live there. You've also cooked in Hollywood, but you did something really interesting in New York. Tell us about that. In year 2000, so 16 years ago, I've been invited as a guest from La Cucina Italiana. La Cucina Italiana is a very popular magazine okay. in Italy, and they called me as a guest. I was cooking for a few single millionaires. Mm -hmm. At that time, I cook uh, spaghetti with anchovy, I still remember, and it was a very unique night. So, you were able to cook for millionaires, so we are so happy that we have you here today. So, what are you going to make for us? Today, we are going to, I'm going to prepare a vegan fusilli pasta dish. Okay, oh, it's a pasta dish. Now, I'm gluten-free, so... I know that, and especially for you, I ordered this pasta. This pasta comes from Italy, and besides being vegan, which means doesn't contain eggs, uh, is also gluten-free. So oh. you'll be able to enjoy it. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so relieved. Thank you so much. And it's all the way from Italy. Straight from Italy. Okay, well, we have some amazing ingredients here. And what's the name of the dish? It's fusilli bianco rosso nero. Okay, and what is that? Which means uh, fusilli is the name of the pasta, and uh, rosso is because the base of the sauce is done with tomatoes. Okay. And nero means black because we have eggplant as a part ingredients of the sauce. Okay, so fusilli rosso nero. Perfect. Okay. The, Perfetto. Uh, all right, thank you. All right, so the ingredients in the middle. I mean, it's very simple. What do we have here? The recipe is very simple, mm -hmm. and the key ingredients are the, the, the herbs. Mm -hmm. What's going into our rosso nero sauce? So the rosso nero sauce is a very uh, simple word, a simple recipe because you use a very simple ingredients. Mm -hmm. We have fresh tomatoes. Okay. We have fresh Italian basil, fresh Italian parsley, fresh Italian oregano. We have fresh Italian garlic, onions, and black olives. Okay then. And of course, grilled eggplant. Yeah, so you grilled them already. It takes 20, 30 minutes to grill the eggplant, and then I marinate, let them marinate with mm -hmm. salt, pepper, and parsley, and extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. So I did that this early this morning. Okay then. All right. Well, so let's go. I'm so excited. Our pan is warm. Uh, so the first thing that we need to add would be what? We're going to put some extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And then we are going to put some onions. Okay, oh wow, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's lower the heat. Mm -hmm. It looks like the our fry pan is really hot already. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice and hot, that's awesome. We don't want to burn the onions. Okay, okay, so this time we're not burning the onions. No, we okay. won't just... Uh, uh -huh. We just want to make the onions become mm -hmm. golden, okay. nice and golden. So nice and golden. Yes. Okay. 
And about how long should we uh, let our onions go? Probably four or five minutes. Okay, four or five minutes. So the, the heat should be low. Mm -hmm. Four or five minutes on a low heat. Yes. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, so, so far, very simple. So we just add our onions and then we are going next? to chop a few mm -hmm. cloves of garlic. Okay. Now this, we'll, this is my best friend, okay. my best friend in the kitchen. Okay. I'm going to chop quickly like this. Let's oh, see. nice and simple. Very simple. And all in. You are an amazing sous chef assistant. Okay, yes, well, I, that's my goal. Will you that's hire great. me, maybe? You're already hired. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and we do the same thing. We are going to add mm -hmm. our olives. Okay, I love olives. Those are Kalamata olives. Yeah, because of the nice purple color. They so. are going to add a special taste mm -hmm. to our recipe. Great job, Erika. All right, thank you. I mean, because who doesn't like Italian food? And I love Italian pasta, so I really want to pay attention and get this one right. Now, we are going to take okay. the eggplants. Okay. And going to slice, chop them. Mm -hmm. Little thin slices. Thin like slices. This. So we take the grilled eggplant. How long did it take to grill mm. this? 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes on the grill. And that was already pre-prepared. And so now you're just going to slice it. Okay. All right, very easy. Easy. Very easy. Okay, yes. And this is not taking a lot of time either. No. Okay. I'm going to add eggplants. Right in there. Okay, awesome. All right. And then, so now how do we, how long do we let this? We let another four or five minutes okay. until all those ingredients blend together. Okay. So very simple. So right now we have the onion, the garlic, the olives, and the eggplant. Yes, those are all simple ingredients that everybody can have okay. easily. The only thing I recommend is to choose Italian parsley, Italian fresh basil, Italian uh, oregano, because it tastes different from the American one. Okay, so it's a different variety yes. and a different yes. flavor. Yes, it's a different quality. Okay. I'm going to take the fresh oregano okay. and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that gets chopped as well? Yes. Oh, yeah, this little processor is amazing. It's a very easy tool. That is so, I, I need one of these because I, sometimes with the knife, you know, it's very hard to cut the, the herbs, so that just makes it perfect. Not a lot of work at all. I'm going to do the same thing with the basil. Okay. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. You can mm. see how great is the fresh basil. Mm. Those herbs are what are going to make unique this recipe. Okay, so I know we had a conversation and you've given recipes to your friends, and but they're like, why doesn't it taste the same when you cook it? That's why I was pointing out that it's very important the chosen ingredient. They are very simple ingredients, mm -hmm. but there's a big difference if you choose uh, the American parsley versus the, the Italian parsley. The American parsley is curly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the, ta the same flavor as the Italian parsley. Okay. The Italian parsley has a flat leaves. Okay. Okay. We are going to add the basil. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, now so the total we cooking time for this. We have some pepper. Mm-hmm. And now we are going to add the tomatoes. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks great. Oh, yum. And so how long does all of this need to cook? Now, this sauce should cook, the whole process, it takes about a couple of hours. Okay. Because we won't let these tomatoes cook until they completely disappear, they melt together. Mm -hmm. It will be, it will become like a smooth sauce. You shouldn't see the eggplants, everything will be blended together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is basically the sauce. 
This is the sauce. Okay, so we have put everything together, and then the only thing is that the two-hour cooking time to make sure all your flavors blend together. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so we are going to work on our sauce. We're going to take a short break, so stay tuned with us because we're going to come back with the completed sauce, you know, the magic of television, and then we'll get started on our pasta. We'll be right back. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. We are back and we are cooking with gas. I have the lovely sauce right here to my right. Our water is boiling. And while we wait, there is something very important. Now you depend on fresh, simple ingredients. And I'm thinking this may be why your friend's dishes don't taste the way that yours do, despite you have the same recipe. So what is this? This is my little garden that I keep in my balcony. On your balcony. So I'm telling you this in my balcony because everybody can do the same. Okay. It doesn't take much. Mm -hmm. I have my fresh basil, mm -hmm. my fresh rosemary, and my fresh oregano. Okay. And those are two the ingredients we've been using mm. in, in our recipe today. All right, so every time you cook, you basically just go on your balcony and you just pick fresh leaves to enhance the flavor in your Absolutely. dishes, to maybe do some decoration. So I have my giant on my balcony. Okay, then. so like this looks very simple. Was it that simple to put together? Um, I don't think it's, it's very hard to do it. You just go and buy the plants and just water once a day and you can enjoy, at least during summer, having fresh herbs on your balcony whenever you need for your recipe. So all you have to do is just water it once a day because basil is very thirsty, I find. It takes a lot of water. I just water the plants once a day and look at the shape. They are wonderful. They're, they look beautiful, they like look, you just bought them. They look healthy, they look tasty, they, they smell uh -huh. wonderful. How old are these? A couple of months. A couple of months old and you, they still look vibrant, like you they just bought them. Okay, Absolutely. that is amazing. So I think our water is almost ready. almost ready. All right, we are back, and it looks like our water is ready. So now for the pasta. We are ready for the pasta. Yeah, Thank so you, what Erica. is the key to making great pasta? First of all, we're going to add a pinch of salt. A little bit of salt. To our pasta. Okay, just a little bit for flavor. Then we're going to put our pasta in. Okay. The Gluten-free, gluten all the way from Ital Italy. Okay, so do I need to stir? Yes. Okay. Stir a little bit. Just a little bit. Turn the heat on. Okay, and, we, and for this we want to make sure our heat's pretty high. Yes. Okay, then. The so water must be boiling high temperature, otherwise the pasta won't be cook al dente. Okay. Al dente means that you need to fill the grain. Mm -hmm. Instead will be, like I see many restaurants, will be becoming like overcooked and looks like glue. Oh, okay, no, so we don't Pasta want that. Pasta must be cooked al dente. Okay, then, so the key to that is having the water hot, hot and boiling when the pasta goes in. Yes. And do we need to leave it at that high temperature or yes. can we turn it down or leave it on high? High temperature for six minutes and our pasta will be wonderful. Okay, and then. Ready. All right, then. So, six minutes, we'll be right back with our pasta and get ready to plate our dish. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are back. Our pasta is done. It looks very nice and steaming. So you're explaining the importance of al dente. And so what is that? Al dente means that the pasta shouldn't be mushy. Uh -huh. Pasta should be, uh, when you eat the pasta, when you buy the pasta, mm -hmm. you should feel the grain of it. That means it's al dente. That's how Italians eat pasta. Okay, and so we have a tendency to maybe overcook in this country and we should not be doing that. Definitely, this is what happened. And this is, there is a reason. It's because the restaurants, they don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. So they usually pre-cook the pasta the day before and then they store the pasta in boxes with a little bit of olive oil. But if you're Italian, you can definitely tell the difference okay. and the taste. Well, the thing is, it's worth the wait. So our sauce is ready. Um, how do we know our sauce is ready? 
The sauce is ready because I cooked this sauce early this morning. Mm -hmm. I let the sauce simmer for two hours, two, and, two hours and 20 minutes. Wow. And you can see the texture of the sauce. Oh my you God. barely see the eggplants. The eggplants have been uh, blend into the sauce. Mm -hmm. And before we put the sauce in our pasta, I would like you, let's go for a taste. Every good chef has to taste the product before it goes out, right? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mm. How is it? I can taste the olives. I can taste the eggplant. It's so good. And it has like a nice texture and thickness that I think is going to go well with the fusilli. Fresh, light, and very digestible. Yes. Okay, then so now what do we do? We're going to pour some sauce okay. on our pasta mm. like this. So we want it a well-coated or just a, a light coating? It depends on the taste. I really like the sauce. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend to stay We'd be very generous. Okay. And so after okay. that, then you toss it. Also, we're going to add some parsley. The fresh Italian parsley. Fresh Italian parsley. Okay. We add the parsley in the end. Oh. Otherwise, we change the color. Mm, my mouth is watering. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing fresh ingredients. And so simple. I can do this. Absolutely, you can do it. Okay. All right, so we're pretty much ready to eat. We are ready to for the final Okay, taste. then. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to plate our food because, you know, presentation, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. Okay, we are back, and it is finally time for us to taste this amazing dish. What's the name again? It's Fusilli Rosso Nero. Okay, then, so... Uh, I'm pretty much ready to go, but I'm sure there's some last minute things here. There's olive oil. What are we doing with that? We are going to sprinkle the pasta with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, before we serve or after? After we serve. Okay, then, so please do the honors. Oh, wow. That looks so good. Okay, yeah, I think that's, that's plenty. <laughs> you. Okay, so what so you funny. didn't see off camera are the beautiful basil leaves were picked right off Chef Max's own little herb garden that he brought to show us. And that was just amazing. He just picked it, went and rinsed it, and you can do the same thing on your balcony. Now what we say is buon appetito. Buon appetito. Okay, then. Which so. means enjoy your pasta. Okay, so. Let's try it. All in. Mm. Mamma mia che buona. Mm. Which means, um, how good is this? It is so good. Oh my gosh. So fresh. I can make this at home. And very few ingredients. Mm. Everybody can do this. It's not going to be hard. Okay then. So, because this show is called Healthy You, I mentioned in the beginning, you stay in amazing shape. You can still wear your same jacket for 25 years. So, biking, skating, martial arts, Zumba? Zumba. Okay, how did you get Tennis. interested in all of these different exercises? Um, I think it's the, the, the way something, when I was born, probably there was some, it's the dynamics in me, mm -hmm. and uh, I can't stop doing activities. And uh, I'm very pleased because after many years, I feel great. It's not a matter of how much you exercise. Mm -hmm. It's also a matter of the way you eat, the balance of the two, mm -hmm. they can help you to look younger. Okay, well, so you and are... Health and feel also healthier. Okay, well, you're taking away all of our excuses because people are like, oh my gosh, it takes so much time to prepare these meals. And you cook every day. You cook how many meals a day? I still do my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. Uh, sometimes tough, mm -hmm. but um, it's truly a pleasure every time I prepare a meal for myself or for my friends that I really find the time every day for cooking my, my meals. And why is this important to you? Again, as I said, uh, our body is a machine. It's like a car. If you don't put the right fuel in the car, stop working, our body is even better. And more importantly, if you don't put the right ingredients, our body starts falling apart or start having blood diseases, pressure diseases. Mm -hmm. So a key component is uh, knowing what you're putting in your body. Okay. And the best way to do it is cook yourself so you know what kind of food you're introducing your body. Okay then, so you cook your own food, 
you do all of these amazing exercises and you also have your own business. What business is that? Um, when I came to the United States, I changed career mm -hmm. and uh, I became a network engineer. And so I've been working for the past 16 years as a network engineer. And a couple of years ago, I opened my own business. The company is called Maximum Tech. I provide uh, technical support to small businesses and residential offices. Oh, wow. So you have all this energy from the great food that you eat and all the exercises. So if I want to have my laptop cleaned, how do I reach you? Oh, Maximum Tech. Maximum Tech is spelled T-E-K, not T-E-C-H. So MaximumTech.com um, is my website. You can find my phone number, all the information, my bio. Okay, well, I'm going to reach out to you because if I have some questions on Italian pasta Absolutely. or how to become a black belt or if I'm having trouble with my laptop, I can just call Max and Max can do it. Well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you joining us today. I hope you learned a lot because I certainly did. Be sure to find our Healthy You TV show on Facebook or go to our website at HealthyYouTVShow.com. And remember, a plant-based diet is a fantastic foundation for a happy, healthier you. See you next time. Manja. Manja. Okay. So good.